Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how I straighten my natural hair. This is what we're looking like. This is how I ended up styling it. I think it looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. I don't normally straighten my hair. I normally will only straighten my hair maybe every four to six months. I don't really straighten it because I don't really wear my natural hair. You guys know I'm in the wig game. I be wearing wigs every single day. But I did want to let my hair breathe for a little bit. Let it air out. And this is what we're looking like. I'm just going to show you guys everything I did to get my hair looking like this. How I straightened it. How I blow dried it. All the products that I used. I will leave everything in the description box down below. But I'm going to stop talking. Let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys. So... This is my hair. I just washed it with the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silken Conditioner for dry, brittle hair. I got this at TJ Maxx. <laughs> I feel like I say that in every video. I get everything from TJ Maxx, but it was $5.99. And that's a steal for Shea Moisture. So I just co-washed today. I didn't use any type of shampoo because I have recently washed my hair, but I did have some gel in my hair. And I didn't want to straighten my hair if it had a bunch of products in it. There was no point in defining my curls if I'm going to straighten my hair. And when I'm straightening my hair, I prefer not to put a bunch of products in it, like leave-ins and all that stuff, because it's just going to weigh my hair down and make it really greasy looking. So I don't apply any products until after my hair is already straight. But at this point, you can apply whatever heat protectant or whatever that kind of stuff that you use. I don't use heat protectant. Don't kill me, but I just don't see a difference between using it and not using it. You know, I've tried both and I haven't received any heat damage because of it, you know. So, <laughs> whatever works for you, works for you, but yeah. Oh, and to blow dry, I'm using this blush blow dryer by Revlon. If you're going to straighten your hair, I would not use a blow dryer with the comb attachment. I would definitely use either a brush and a blow dryer or a blow dryer like this that already has a brush attached to it. Alrighty, so once I'm sure that the roots are dry, so this section feels really good, it's nice and dry, I'm gonna go in with my hot comb. Now, some people don't like to use these, I'm just using one of those plug-in hot combs. I can't straighten my hair without these. If you guys see my edges, you will see why a flat iron is not gonna get that. Alright, so this is what we're looking like. If you guys have any tips for how to get your edges really streaking straight, I can't even speak. <laughs> if you have any tips for how to get your edges really sleek and straight, if you have my type of hair, let me know. So once my hair is completely blow dried, I just go in with my regular blow dryer on the cool setting to kind of just relax the hair after applying all that heat and tension. <laughs> This is the most annoying part, and I always quit halfway through straightening my hair because I'm a lazy fart. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my flat iron to 450 degrees. I haven't really seen any heat damage, so yeah, I really think that I have really thick, tough hair, so it can it can take heat. It can take heat. I'm gonna take a nice little section, and I'm gonna do the chase method. Like, how am I supposed to get in here without burning my ear? So I'm just going to continue straightening it and hopefully you guys can see everything that I'm doing.
and I just look at the roots to make sure they're actually straight because the roots are the most important part. If the roots ain't if the roots ain't right, there was no point of you even even trying. Length. I don't know what length this is. What is this considered? Collarbone length? I really don't know. So it looks really soft and bouncy without even bumping the end. And if I attempt to bump the end, it doesn't look bad. There. When I bump the ends, it looks like this. This is for the stylist that said that my hair was dry and stiff because I wear wigs all the time. All right, after that commercial break, So now, my decision needs to be made. Middle part or side part? I'm gonna vote side part, so I'm gonna go ahead and carve out where my bang is gonna be. what it looks like if I do this the little swoop situation so I get behind my ear I need to sleek these edges all right I kind of feel the half up half down situation because this is how I normally would wear my hair because those pieces towards the front are so short that I just can't wear it all down like I prefer it to look like this you guys so this is what my hair looks like I ended up putting it like half up half down I clipped up those little short pieces that are that were in the front as you guys can see it's just hanging out back there I don't know I wish all of my hair was this length but the top section like I told you guys it was broken off from when I wore weaves all the time and I started transitioning the back of my hair before I started transitioning the front because the front was left out in the weaves, if that makes sense. So my hair is kind of not growing evenly, but eventually the top will grow out just as long as the back and I'll be more satisfied. But until then, this is how I'm gonna be wearing my hair. Little side swept bang, little, you know, it's cute. I think it doesn't look bad. I do look really young. Like I look like how I looked when I was in eighth grade, but that's cool. That's cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know you guys have been requesting natural hair videos, so I wanted to bring this one to you guys so that I could like satisfy that craving, you feel me? <laughs> More natural hair videos to come. Please leave your suggestions down in the comments down below if you guys think that I should style my hair a certain way. If you guys want me to do some different styles, let me know. Leave all your suggestions because I'm open to doing them all. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if I didn't say that already. I feel like I did because I say it in every video. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. And when you're finished, comment down below hashtag notification gang so that I can shout you out in my next video. I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye.